everybody and welcome back to Bake Mess. Just felt my hair fall out. I need a bobby pin, but I can't find one, so we'll tuck it in so it looks like I have a little bit of a rat tail. As you can see from the title, today's video is a gingerbread cheesecake. First things first, besides being the realist, the crust. For the crust, I wanted to pay tribute to the fact that this really is a gingerbread cheesecake. It's Christmas, and sometimes you have to do things like make brownies with frosting so they look like Christmas trees. We're getting classier than that. So, we're using crushed ginger snap cookies, but it's a very fine, fine crumb. And then to that, I'm adding the butter. And if you guys want the full recipe, it will be listed down below on my blog. And then adding cinnamon and a little bit of salt. This is a great thing to bring if you're invited to holiday parties. Also, who throw his fucking holiday parties. I don't get invited. We just want this to be crummy, but you want it to be able to mesh and stick together as a base. This then goes into my spring form pan, which is lined with tin foil. I'm not gonna tell you what I did the last time, which really fucked me up royally. Thinking is not something I'm good at. The tin foil goes on the outside because we're gonna use a water bath to bake it so the water doesn't get inside the cheesecake, which might have also been something that had happened. It's not a good time. This goes in here. Ugh, yeah, 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 yeah. We could do a graham cracker crust to this too. You know what I was also thinking that'd be crazy? Like cookie butter, like speculus cookies. You can punch it down with your hands if you're feeling really aggressive. I'm, I mean, I am feeling really aggressive. I'm gonna use a flat bottom of this measuring cup just to get it all in here and even. Probably also switched my hands in a minute. Yeah, let's just switch my hands. Let's get personal. You just wanna have like an even layer on the bottom. <clears throat> Also, I didn't know my forearms could be sore until this moment right here. So many hand jobs. <laughs> and I wonder why this like, series isn't sponsored. The evenness and how much care just depends on who you're cooking for. If it's like your in-laws that you hate, make it crooked as fuck. Or you hate them, make it straight as fuck and you're like, look at this. I'm amazing. This is gonna go into an oven that's at 350 degrees. We're gonna bake this for about 10 to 15 minutes. You just need the crust to set a little bit before we add so let's bake it. Oh, my hands are so buttery. So, so buttery. While the crust is baking in the oven, now it's time to move on to the cheesecake filling. So in my stand mixer, ooh, it's a little bit of that dried cookie from yesterday. That also just landed in something. It sounded like the trash might have not been the trash, but it felt like a swish moment. This is four blocks of cream cheese. A lot, I know. You could definitely use a hand mixer if you wanted to, but... I don't want to. So I'm gonna start by really whipping up just the cream cheese so it gets really smooth before we add in the rest of the ingredients. So see how long this takes. Come on. God, this is thick. What's with my hand on my hip? So sassy. So Jonathan Van Ness. Yeah. Beat again, just for, I'm sorry it was too soon. Came too fast. I'm going to pour in the sugar. We need to make it not be bagely. I'm just gonna beat again for a couple more seconds. <laughs> scraping down again. Wow, so much scraping down the sides. E. Now we're going to add in our eggs one at a time. Oh, everything's sticky and smells like a bagel. Almost like a loogie. that I'm like a cool guy, like BDE <laughs> right in, like. Hop on my stand mixer, girl. And the last egg. Oh, did not have a good handle on that, physically. Emotionally. Let's add in our molasses. Also, if you care the difference of what the difference in molasses are, Google it. It's not that fascinating, but you, you'll know then. Then we're also gonna add in our vanilla extract and our lemon zest. We're gonna mix this up. Now that this is all fully mixed, we're going to add in the spices last. I've also just mixed the spices just so it really evenly distributes so you don't have like a pocket of nutmeg, which I always really closely related to that spice because it has meg in it. Now that that's done, we're gonna pour it into our crust. The crust came out of the oven. This baked for about 10 to 15 minutes. You don't want it to be like crunchy crust yet because it is going to bake again with the filling. And now we are going to pour our cheesecake filling inside. 
Also, you might be judging me because it's a little lumpy. Um, I might have had some time issues and uh, this cream cheese, as opposed to being softened to room temperature gradually, Aislinn and I just sat with it driving home from the grocery store between our thighs in the packaging. Just know when you do it yourself, make sure your cream cheese is fully room temperature. Otherwise, it might get a little lumpy. Do as I say, not as I do. Spread this out evenly. This is not too hot. Gonna scoot the trivet. Scoot, scoot. And we're going to kind of just drop it, not from too high, but to knock out any excessive air bubbles. Lovely, the bumps are still there. Now we're going to put this in the oven. We also increased the, nope, decreased, nah. Also decreased the oven temperature to 325. This is gonna bake for about 60 to 65 minutes. The reason why we have it in this pan, we're baking it in a water bath. So as opposed to filling it with water and then carrying it over to the oven, that's just like an accident waiting to happen for somebody who's petitioning to change Murphy's Law to Megan's Law. Fucking big cheesecake. I put it into the oven and then I pour in water into this pan once it's already there so you don't have to transfer and move it. Woo! Fuck yeah! Not that I hate that cheesecake, but it's a little done with her. Or him, let's say him. 59. So the cheesecake baked in the oven at 325 for 60 to 65 minutes and then it needed to cool completely and rest overnight. Minimum eight hours, but like, I don't know when you would have an eight hour stretch and then be like, cheesecake time. I also baked off some gingerbread cookies to decorate and also to decorate, I'm going to be making some whipped cream. And I have more ginger snap cookie crumbs to go along the sides for where it didn't look so cute because I probably should have made the crust go all the way up the side. So do as I say, not as I do, you know? We're gonna start by just whipping the cream first. Let's get a little body. Okay, once it starts getting marginally thicker, I'm gonna pour in my vanilla extract. I ran out, that's why there's not so much left. And some sugar and some cinnamon. Nice. You don't wanna whip for too long or else you'll just get butter, which I've definitely done before. Add some of my crumbs around the side. Did I get any? Yeah, yeah. Come to Papa. <laughs> Get down! Sorry for all the Virgos out there who are losing their shit. I'm a Leo, so I don't really care as much. Now we're taking the whipped cream, the cinnamony whipped cream, putting it into a piping bag. Whipped cream is not very pipeable. If you were serving this for like a party, I would do whipped cream on the side. She's cute. We do. We think she's cute. She's ready. She's the belle of the ball. Now it's time for a slice and a taste test. Ooh, that's a moist, moist fucking noise. Uh, okay. Are you exiting and then coming back? Yeah. Okay, great. And take two. Aislinn Paul's here to taste. Wow! Oh my god, who's surprised? It's me again. I'm so excited to try this. Get nervous, I wanna I see you sweat. I can't handle it right now. I've been sweating all day. This is fantastic. <gasps> Yay! If you are a fan of cheesecake, like myself, and you like any kind of sort of fall flavors mm -hmm. or spices, this is gonna be for you. This is so Yay. good. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool, podcast. I'll see you guys in a week. So, we've got a couple more days of the 12 days of the Mass recipes. So guys, get excited. As always, I'll have the link for the full recipe on my blog. I would love to see if you guys make this because we're now getting into the territory of like showstoppers and things you bring to parties. Uh, if you guys want to follow Aislinn and I, our socials will be listed down below. If you want to check out Marty, we actually used cookie cutters from the new holiday collection from my shop. So check those out. Check out the podcast and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye. This really is my power color. It's a good color.